It was a conscious decision to have children. Um, my husband and I waited a long time. We got married in 2009, um, and we had our first child in 2015. The desire to have children just became very strong, and I was like, I need to figure out which route we're going. My husband and I were just kind of working through it, and. Um, but yes, we tried for about a year to get pregnant, and I was like, maybe this really isn't meant to be. The time that I found I was pregnant, I was very excited. Um, it had taken us a while, so immediate thrill, but also f a little, a good amount of fear. If the mother's blood phenylalanine is too high, the baby will be exposed to too much phenylalanine and that will damage the growing fetus. And so maternal PKU syndrome refers to a baby who does not have PKU themselves, but who suffers the consequences of high phenylalanine because the mother's blood phenylalanine was too high during the pregnancy. We strongly encourage women to plan their pregnancies if possible and work with their clinic to make sure that their phenylalanine and PKU management is optimized prior to becoming pregnant. If you become pregnant and your PKU management is not perfect, you need to go to the clinic, let the clinic know as soon as you find out you're pregnant and work to get things optimized as soon as possible after pregnancy. The sooner you get treatment started and the sooner you get effective management of the treatment, the more likely you will be to have a, a pregnancy that's normal and end up with a healthy baby. Maternal PKU, um, <laughs> you have PKU and you're pregnant. So all of the things that you experience in pregnancy, you're going to experience regardless of the fact that you have PKU. The, what complicates it is what happens when you're nauseous. And in those first trimester, a lot of women are nauseous and they vomit and you can't keep down your formula, or you can't drink your food. Well, what happens is you start having increased fee levels because you're not getting enough protein and you're not getting enough calories. So you have high fee levels, which is dangerous to your fetus. I think as I got further along, once you get past eight weeks, once you get past the first trimester, as you, as the baby's growing, you can start tolerating more, which is, wonderful blessing during pregnancy. I started to get a little bit more confident. Um, I'm doing this. I mean, to give credit where credit is due, so many of these women are so committed to having healthy babies. They just work so hard at making sure that they do whatever they have to do to make it work. Most of the time what we'll say is, we're gonna get frequent levels. You're gonna sip through this formula. You're gonna eat slowly. You're gonna get through this. It's gonna be, be maybe hard today. Tomorrow will be a little bit better. What keeps me going when, you know, the daily struggles of PKU can be way down on me a little bit. Well, now, for sure, my children just, um, they're a mile a minute and they definitely keep me going, um, but I want to be my best for them. I want to take care of myself, so I'm my best for them. There's a lot in life I want to do, and if I'm not on diet, I can't do it at my best. So um, living the best life possible that I can, you know, while taking care of myself and feeling good while I'm doing it.